In 1938, the winner catalogue was actually trained by a woman, forced by the rules of racing to use her husband's name. 22 horses, the prick of Australian and New Zealand thoroughbreds, are entered for the classic race. Here are a few of them. The Trump, last year's winner. H&G, fine if it's wet. Alunga, gallant veteran. Marauder, the raider. St. Constant, watch that white blaze. Royal Chief, the favourite. Catalogue, another New Zealand hope. Spear Chief from Queensland. Queen of Song, New Zealand two-year-old. Bourbon may be the dark horse, but the cup meeting isn't just a sporting event, it's a social event too. Famous faces at the races. There it is. It looks nice around fair faces and funny chapeau. And while everyone looks at their hats, they hope, the ladies look at the horses. For fashion is always with us, but the Melbourne Cup comes only once a year. Into the straight, the leader is now catalogued, showing the way. Out very wide in the white colours is Gay Knight. Still on the rails in second place is Silenus, just in the centre, Alunga. And on the fence is Sir Regent, then coming Ortel Star, down the outside, putting in a good run. But here comes Bourbon now, threading his way through the field into about sixth place and stretching out. But the leader is still catalogued. Yes, the 25 to 1 shot is flying away from the field. There goes Bourbon setting out after catalogue now. But catalogue has it sewn up. And although Bourbon finishes fast, catalogue goes on to win by three lengths from Bourbon. Ortel Star fights it out for third place for the Lunga, who finishes fourth. So New Zealand springs another surprise, and the eight-year-old catalogue, the oldest horse in the race, rises from obscurity to win one of the world's greatest turf classics, the Melbourne Cup. <laughs>